Hello, dear student. I welcome you in my class. So, in this class, we will discuss about the course introduction. From this class only, you will be able to know what so far we will cover in the upcoming lectures. You can see this. I am very happy to see this logo, and I am very thankful to my uh, students who has designed this logo. Now, as far as the course part is concerned. we will cover course introduction in the lecture 1 and this you can consider as a course introduction in a lecture 2 we will cover the history of manned aircraft and in lecture 3 we will cover the history of unmanned aircraft because this course is all about aircraft design in which both the aircraft manned and unmanned aircraft will be designed we will develop the procedure for designing the aircraft we will cover the all aspects of aircraft design and we will take a two example one manned aircraft and one unmanned aircraft and we will design in this course because it is very important to know the history of the aircraft before moving into the actual course because history will motivate us to for a designing a course or studying a course okay in lecture 4 we will cover the basics aerodynamics because in aircraft in aircraft design we required the fundamentals of aerodynamics propulsion aircraft structures as well as the flight mechanics control because for a, as a designer you should know the how the lift is generated and who is generating the lift why we are using streamline body why not bluff body so many things we will cover in the basics of aerodynamics course and then ultimately we need a thrust in order to move the aircraft in a forward direction so we will discuss about the propulsion and it is very important to ensure that our structure has a enough strength in order to sustain the lift bending moment shear force or etc that we will cover in the lecture 6 and once the we know the aircraft aerodynamics aircraft propulsion aircraft structures so we we will get to know the idea of lift drag thrust and weight then in basic flight mechanics and control we will discuss about how to utilize these forces in a very effective manner so that you will get the best flight performance and in lecture 8 we will move little core towards the subject based on our requirement we will estimate our aircraft weight in lecture 9 once the aircraft weight is finalized in a preliminary stage i repeat again here in a preliminary stage if the requirements is not meeting you have to reiterate this once the weight is finalized then we have to size the wing to lift the weight and size the way tail to provide the stability that we will cover in the lecture 9 in lecture 10 we will size the aircraft primary control su surface sizing because tail will provide you the stability but aircraft control surfaces will provide you the controls aerodynamic control surfaces we'll discuss in detail aileron elevator rudder how to size these control surfaces in order to get the required control moment for navigating one point to the another point or handling the disturbance we want some good performance from our design aircraft that we will check from lecture 11 to 12 like how our aircraft is cruising at a different different altitude and similarly from lecture 13 to 14 we will check the climb performance also and in lecture 15 we will check the uh, our aircraft performance in uh, glide and then in lecture 16 uh, we will check the maneuverability of our designed aircraft we will check uh, the aircraft performance in in turn and in lecture 17 we will check the pull up and pull down maneuver whether we will be able to pull up the aircraft and pull down the aircraft safely or not and in lecture 
18 i will give you some sort of idea what is static stability what is dynamic stability so in lecture 18 i will give some general idea about introduction to aircraft st static stability and dynamic stability later you will get to know that aircraft aircraft can be statically stable and statically unstable whether if it is stable or unstable you should know because if you, you should know if you know the behavior of the system then only you will be able to control okay so for example if you want to take off from chandigarh and if you want to land in a delhi then you should know the inherent tendency of the aircraft static stability and dynamic stability so that we will cover some introductory part we will cover in the lecture 18 and from lecture 19 to 22 we will go into some detail about aircraft longitudinal stability where you will you will see the detail of uh, parameter which decides the longitudinal stability longitudinal stability which means how the aircraft will is behave in a longitudinal plane okay what is longitudinal plane that also we will cover in the upcoming lectures and then in lecture 22 we will uh, deal with the aircraft lateral stability and control in uh, because aircraft can be stable or can be unstable in all three directions for example roll pitch and yeah so in lecture 22 we will cover the aircraft lateral stability and control and in lecture 23 we will cover the directional stability and control okay now from you can observe from lecture 1 to 23 at a theoretical aspects we have covered everything right starting from giving some idea about history of a manned and unmanned aircraft to weight estimation sizing performance stability now we will consider two example and we will build the simulation model like propulsion model aerodynamic model database we will generate okay based on what so far we have derived in the earlier lecture and in lecture 25 we will do the flight simulation of a designed aircraft where you will see with respect to the time how the aircraft will behave because you have to check how your aircraft designed aircraft is behaving if it's not if it is not behaving in a proper manner you have to redesign the same that we will discuss in lecture 25 and finally it is good to have some kind of visualization by seeing the aircraft it is behaving instead of the graphs so in lecture 26 we will deploy our model in a fixed base simulator which i have designed that we will show the aircraft response visualization in a flight simulator remember here this is a fixed base simulator okay so these are the very important references i have take, taken and i recommend you also you follow this kind of this books from this first is aircraft performance and design so as a beginner you should read this book and two also introduction to flight as a beginner you should read and the theory of flight and very good book by roscom airplane design when you when you done with reference one two three you should follow the reference four also and uh, you can in five and six you can find out the lot of example of aircraft design weight estimation sizing engine selection and it, seven is also for a beginner flight stability and automatic control if you want to study the stability part and control part you can follow this book and uh, eight book is sadare which is aircraft design is a very important book as a designer you should follow this book because this uh, contains the historical data so many published data and it's very good book and finally the reference nine where you can estimate the stability and control derivative because Na nasa has conducted so many experiments so many outcomes has been put into the one report it is a very beautiful report you should follow the i say reference for your aircraft design i want to give some motivation to you all guys so in next slides we will show you something i will not reveal but i will go one by one so my dream was to take selfie from these three aircraft one is concord aircraft and one is sr71 and one is f18 and luckily when i was in usa usa i thought it is better to go 
in the New York, where you can see uh, in a museum, this SR-71 and Concord has been placed. At that time I went there in 2022 in the month of December and I was very lucky. I have clicked the selfie with these two aircraft. I went to one uh, air show in United States and there the Blue Angels was flying and showing all kind of manual, manual capability and I was waiting for the best moment. As long as the, I just judge myself that the aircraft is, will pass behind my head and I have just clicked this photo. So you can see this aircraft F-18 is flying. So it was my some memory, sort of memory. And now, as of now, I have worked with so many uh, UAV. I should not say I have worked, we have worked because in UAV, you have to work as a team. So you can see I have worked on the VTOL configuration also. I have on the small kind of category of VTOL aircraft. I have worked, we have worked for the solar powered aircraft also. And so many aircraft I have, UAV I have worked and some I have listed here. So I thankful to, I should give thanks to all the people whom I worked with. And some flight test also I want, we want to show you. So this is a flying wing flying in a Kanpur. So this is a flying wing concept. You can see how it is beautifully flying. So again, I'm repeating here. This is a teamwork. And I, I was also the part of that team. And see this, you can see this is a VTOL configuration taking off from the flight laboratory IT Kanpur. So now this flying wing and this configuration is a product of Vital Aviation. And now this is a product of Karman drones. So I also work with the C. This is a tricopter. In the last video, I have shown the quad rotor model, flying wing. Before that, now this is a tricopter. With this three rotor, it is taking off from the ground. And now two front rotor will tilt in a forward direction in order to provide the forward flight. So you can see from last video and this video, it is a hybrid type of configuration. We are using a vertical, you are doing vertical takeoff from the rotor and then taking a forward motion by the transition, followed by the transition. Last video, only four motor is used, but it is not tilting the motor is not tilting but here the motor is tilting also as a designer you should first to you should know what type of configuration you want to design okay are you looking for a uh, hand launch are you looking for a solar powered aircraft or some kind of high altitude uav long endurance uav so we should know what kind of UAV you want to design accordingly, you have to do the literature review. So first this configuration, what type of configuration you want to design? And this is a solar UAV. In this, this UAV also, I have worked with colleague as a team and with my supervisor also. This two UAV also, I have worked on this. Both are tactical UAV. Weight class of 25 kg, 20 kg. So you should... Prior to design, you should know the mission requirement, what you want to achieve. And very popular nowadays, loiter elimination, okay, where you will do, this is a very highly maneuverable 
aircraft where you can see the weight is 2.5 kg and uh, it's very and endurance it's very short uh, range flight where you will take the warhead and you will drop and you will then pull up and you will exit okay light elimination and that can be the suicidal drone also will you take the warhead and you will hit the target okay configuration 7 can be seen here a uh, VTOL hybrid type where you can see four rotor the video which I have shown to you four rotor is used to lift the vehicle up and then from RPM change you will do the forward transition and backward transition and once the transition is achieved the forward flight is taken by the fixed wing as a conventional aircraft some small weight class approximately 6 kg you can see here this both the is a product of Vital aviation and something extra if you want to design some different type of configuration where you can see uh, one aircraft below the aircraft or one aircraft above the aircraft okay where the, this is uh, uh, for example like uh, have you seen the video a Boeing aircraft is taking the space shuttle and reaching to the one particular altitude and then dropping and then uh, it is uh, a space shuttle is uh, checking its cap capability of a landing and all that is also part in the museum in New York. I, I personally see this aircraft. It is a very huge space shuttle and I call it is aircraft because it is flown only in the air only not in the space that aircraft. The purpose of that space shuttle is to check the landing capability and everything. Okay. So you can see it is very as a designer you have to be very sure that ki after the separation you should not hit the tail, you should not hit the nose, okay. One big aircraft you are taking. Inside the big aircraft there is a small small aircraft, right. Or some small aircraft is already attached at the wing and you want to drop from the some height. For example, like a target drone. So you have to be this the sizing is different, here the sizing is different. So both the aircraft when it will get separated will not behave in the same manner. So you have to be sure you should not hit the tail, you should not hit the, a proper separation should be done. Okay. So as a designer you should look for this also. And uh, if you want to design the flying wing, so video I have already shown to you. So we have also designed the, when I was in the IIT Kanpur, I have sized this fixed wing aircraft. This is the hand calculation you can see. Okay, now I have seen the, uh, I have shown you the tricopter, if you want to design, then you have to model the tricopter mathematics, fixed wing uh, mathematics and then if you combine, then scenario will be different and so all sort of problem you have to address because in this configuration why I am trying to show tricopter is very challenging to, to control and you are fixing at a fixed wing, that will become the more challenging. Alone it is unstable, very challenging to control and now you are putting the fixed wing and in the transition phase where the getting the aerodynamics is very difficult. So you have to deal with this kind of challenges and you have to very ensure that what you are going to do. So configuration design is a very important part. With this, I must say thank you to all. This is a course the introduction part and from the NES lecture we will start our actual course starting from uh, history of a manned aircraft and hopefully in this course in upcom upcoming lectures you will enjoy and at the end you will be able to design your own aircraft. Thank you very much.